Nagbabalik tayo sa Kababayan Today. Kasama pa rin natin ang ating mga Filipino-American artists that are part of this exhibit that is happening over the weekend, um, and it's happening in San Pedro. But we want to understand, uh, that's the poster for you, and some of the art is featured there. Lahat po ng art na nakikita nyo, Filipino po ang gumawa. And there's a sense of pride in that. And that's why we invite all of you to come out Support our artists, support the work that they do, because uh, that's that's who we are, right? Um, we have to be able to showcase who we are to the rest of the world, and they're doing that through their art. So, Eliseo, welcome back to our program. Let's talk about why it's so important that these Philippine masterpieces are able to be enjoyed by the larger public. Well, uh, one of the things we try to do with this exhibit is to gather uh, works from the Philippines. We're mm -hmm. going to have two sculptures from Filipino masters, Abueva and Saprid. And then we also have this uh, uh, cultural affairs funded um, installation called uh, Obra Pintura, which is our Filipino American masterpieces from the 1950s to the present. And this deserves to be in a museum to mm -hmm. contextualize our art as Filipino American, mm. you know, because that's something that is missing in the in the in, in U.S. museums. Perhaps some of the, our, our, in our community has some collection of uh, Filipino-American artists creating an image from the fields or from uh, Louisiana where they built the Manila Village. Perhaps they could endow it to a museum or donate it and someday there's gonna be a, full, uh, a whole room full of Filipino-American images. Because mm, that's powerful, yes, right? To be able to, to be see surrounded, yourself. Yeah, to be surrounded with art and voices uh, from our Filipino American uh, history and pioneers, and that's what's missing because in, in like in Singapore and uh, Japan and all these other countries in Asia, they have Filipino American masters and on their walls, mm. so they know exactly where the Filipino artist is coming from. But here in the United States, we usually disappear from you know as a, a, like Latino or Asian or Chinese or something like that, but never Filipino American. Mm. And Filipino Americans have been here for 430 years, right? <laughs> since we first. Left landed in Morro Bay 431 year, 430 years ago. That's right. Yeah, and so that history has not yet been documented in art, although it has been documented in photo photography and text, but now it's the mission of the artist to focus on that and create art because art belongs to everybody. That's right. It's, Very well yes. said. Yes. Uh, Lynn, how important is it for you as an artist to have a space where people can gather and experience your work? It's really important to me, um, not only as an artist, but I'm a mother as well. So this is something I'm leaving for my children. And I'm hoping that this will also be a channel for all of us artists to leave something behind for our future generations. Because mm. that's important. As Filipino Americans um, and Filipinos here in America, we have a disjuncture between our land here and the homeland in the Philippines. Right. Even um, so, being able to come forward as an artist, expressing ourselves because Filipinos are very creative. Yes, we have come up with some of the most innovative ideas and inventions that people don't even know about. That Filipinos originated those mm. um, and created those things. Um, so having a space is important to me as an artist. I've been an artist for over 15, 20 years, mm -hmm. and I haven't been afforded the opportunity, the real opportunity, to be represented properly as a Filipino-American artist. I've been part of different exhibitions. Um, I've been part of um, maybe Latino exhibitions mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because we can blend in. Just, my, just by our very last names, we can blend in. Right, but there's also, I mean, that's also very dangerous, isn't it? Because as Eliseo said, we've disappeared. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're invisible, kumbaga, right? Yeah. Hannah, as an artist, what are the biggest challenges for you, especially being a person of color, being a Filipina here in America? Ano yung pinakamahirap bilang artist para sa you? Um, I think it's just being recognized because I feel like with digital art especially there's like a lot of competition and I feel like it's because I'm a woman of color as well mm. they pick other people over me you know it's just something that I've noticed but you know I'm fighting through it yes so. and thankfully yeah. there's film arts that really propagates and helps support yeah. artists mm -hmm. the work that you do uh, Tina uh, I know you know it's it's a 
challenge day in and day out to keep this organization okay. together, right? But uh, why why would you want to, uh, what do you want to express to our Kababayans who don't see the value in supporting our Filipino artists? Oh my God, G, you said exactly my thoughts and sentiments of everybody who's been involved in Pillow Marts. You know, it's a, it's a thankless job actually, you mm. know, it is, but like Lynn said earlier, I'm also a mother, and one, one thing that really motivates me to do this kind of job and to get through this is because I have kids of my own, and I want them to see, have an understanding of where mommy grew up, where mommy came from, mm -hmm. and what I understood growing up. It's very different. And I see that now because, you know, they're 12 and 11. It's the age where they either they go on their own pathway or they understand their culture and at some point in their life they're going to keep finding that. Philip Arts is really invested in doing this kind of work. You know, we, um, like I said, I'm, I'm not necessarily an artist but an artist nonetheless because I consider myself an orchestrator mm -hmm. of community, right? Absolutely. Like bringing everybody together and um, I hope this is just the first of many, many other opportunities that we could give to artists of different genres and that's why we have a Filipino artist network that gathers different artists of different genres, giving them opportunities to collaborate. It's just very organic in the way we've had collaborations in the past. And we'll keep doing it because that's, yes. that's the only way we can you know, assure representation. That's right. So we are inviting all Filipino American artists to be part of the Phil um, um, Arts Network. Uh, there is an organization called PAN, Filipino Artist Network. At iniimbitahan po namin kayo, come to the event, uh, get to know your community of fellow artists, support them in this endeavor. We'll give you all the details when we return on Kababayan Today with our panel of artists.